What's up, everyone? It's Matt. I'm back. October, Irish Whiskey of the Month, Jameson Black Barrel. And I have looked back at the history of my Irish Whiskeys of the Month, and I have not done this Black Barrel yet, and I could have swore I have, maybe in my earlier years. But then again, I went back to look at the history of my Irish Whiskey of the Month, and I'm missing 2021 and 2022. This is really my fourth year of doing Irish Whiskeys of the Month, and I can't find 21 and 22. So I'm not sure what the hell happened. I could have swore I've done this one, but since I have no record of it, I'm going to bring it to you again. Again. Um, bottled at 40% ABV, triple distilled, double charred at the Middleton Distillery in County Cork. This is... This has your profile from your typical Jameson. You know, creamy, smooth. Um, it's a blend of uh, green whiskey with a high percentage of single pot still, giving it that creaminess. Um, I had already poured a little dram before I started this video. Um, the double, the, the charring of this is going to bring out a lot of deep, rich notes from the wood. Um, probably a lot of toffee, a lot of dark chocolate from deep inside that wood. And being uh, from ex bourbon casks, you're going to get some vanilla in there too. Um, so let's give it a go. Um, I have obviously, now I haven't sipped on this for quite a while, but I've had this on for three or four months. But anyway, very budget friendly. I'm a big fan of this one. I'm not a not a huge fan of Jameson per se, but I do like the Black Barrel. So let's launch it. Nose is. Sweet and spicy. What I mean is, I'm getting some baking spice in there, light, you know, um, nothing, nothing major as far as like, you no know, star anise. Um, but it's like you know, you're in the kitchen and grandma's baking some cookies, and you get that that spicy baking spice smell to it. That's what I'm getting, and there's some brown sugar too. You can get. Very strong toast wood um, and a little bit of vanilla. And one thing I've been trying to pick up, and I, I can't describe it other than a resinous note. <laughs> like when you cut open a tree, you, you take the bark off a tree, you get that sap or that resin dripping down. That's kind of what it smells like. But here we go. It is smooth and creamy. Good lord, that cream, like creamy vanilla, but it's very smooth. Man, there's no bite to this, no burn to it. Typical Jameson, you know. Again, touch of those bacon spices, and there's that butterscotch in there too. And as this starts to fade and, and this finish starts to happen, man, that dark chocolate becomes very prominent on the fore of this finish. Toasted wood is still there. The vanilla is still there, but I'm also getting a little toffee. As this finish starts to fade, it's not a very, it's not a strong Irish whiskey on all three phases the, the palate, the nose, the palate, and the finish. Nothing's really gonna blow you away. Um, the finish is not long lasting, the palate is not overpowering, and the nose is kind of subtle. But you, you can get the notes there. There's not nothing blowing me away. This is good in Irish coffee. Uh, it's good in old fashioned, like a maple old fashioned. Um, I've even made a Manhattan with it, so it's very versatile. And that's another thing I like about it. Again, it's budget friendly. I can't remember what I paid for this. Thirty seven, thirty eight, roughly. But anyway, it is something I do like to keep stocked in my Irish whiskey cabinet. Again, just because it's very personal, and I, I do like it. I'm not I'm not sitting here trying to knock it. I do like it. But anyway, that's what I got for you from Irish we see the month for October. Old Jameson Black Barrel. So go out and grab a bottle if you've never tried it before. If you're a Jameson fan, you like it. Um, but I don't know what else to say other than thanks for watching.